Hello everyone, let's take a look at things we can do to fix a SketchUp model. Uh, this is one that I've got here that first of all it is not centered on the axis. So I'm going to go ahead and move it so that it is. You may have to draw some little helper lines. You might want to zoom in a little bit. Uh, the trick here is to move on the axes as best you can so that you're not moving in any big direction. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can line that up. I'm going to zoom out again, look at the bottom, and you can see that the line is actually coming out of this part of the model. Now that is a concern. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the measurement. You don't want this to be over 10 feet, and it is 71 feet right now. So I'm also going to scale this down. So I'm going to choose the S keyboard shortcut. And by holding down control, you can see that it's going to scale towards the center. That's important because I've already centered it, and I don't want to have to do that again. Let me check a quick check here. It is now 20 feet. So I can scale down, and if I put 0.5 on my keyboard here, I should be able to type in 0.5. Hold down control. No, I'm just going to try and make it down to 0.5. So that now when I measure again, it's about half of what it was before, giving me a width overall of, oh, it's not doing it nine feet. So this would be about as big as I would want to bring in for that grid. Let's see some other things that can cause problems. This is now the correct size, but when I select this group and right click on it, I'm going to check the entity info and you can see that there is indeed a texture that has been applied to the whole group. It's not visible anywhere and that's what has been causing some people a lot of trouble because groups can accept a paint Alizé and Kanisha come to the front office. Alizé and Kanisha to the front office. This has caused a lot of people some trouble because a group can accept a paint or texture without showing it. To get rid of it, you simply click on it, scroll to the top, and say, I don't want that there. Let's go inside the model and also take a look at what these faces look like. And what you're noticing here with the entity info is that it's the reverse side that has the paint. So that causes a great deal of problems because it looks like it should be okay, but these are reverse faces and those will not show up correctly in Blender. Our best bet is to go here and delete all of the possible colors that could be in our model. And if you've put a bunch of them in there, that could be a real pain. But as I'm deleting these and the model is being revealed, you can see what I mean by reverse faces. And if it isn't obvious to you yet, then it will be when I get rid of this last gray one that could possibly be in there. Those are all Steve parts. I'm going to use my selection tool, Control A, since every single face is reversed, and then <coughs> flip them back the other way. This is what they're supposed to look like when you get ready to paint. So let me go do some quick painting. Notice that I had all of them selected, which then put paint on all of them. We should really paint them individually. So I'm going to do a quick paint with what colors we have available here. And be rather mathematical and organized about it so that I have a paint on each of these faces. So I'm going to go every other one there, and then this darker one here. I may need to dig into the colors and go ahead and get some other colors in here. So let's, just so that it's easy to see here, paint that up, maybe come up with a slight pinkish color. One important thing to remember is as long as things are painted different colors, you can adjust those colors in Blender and totally change up the appearance. So even if these colors seem like, wow, I really don't think those colors are going to work for me, you can go back and change them without any trouble. So if I want this color on this face, just want to make sure it's the same one in the same spot for each. Um, I also see a little one in there. 
So I'm going to go ahead and paint this last one. If it is the last one, you can shift paint. And now all of the remaining empty faces have been painted, including that one on the bottom. Now it doesn't look like it's centered, but when I get out of the group, you'll see that the group is still there. Critical to have this as a group so that when we bring it into Blender, we can manipulate the entire thing. One last thing to do here, of course, is to save as. And this is going to be today's date, 02. And I'm going to call this no longer a problem object. So I'm saving that in my 3D art projects. And then I'm exporting it as a 3D model to bring into Blender as well. So here it is in my 3D art projects. I should put it in my Blender Animation Project folder if this is the one that I'm actually going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and export the Colada DAE to where I'll be working in Blender.